Dr. Angela McBurdy of drflute.com, and today I'm comparing three levels of Haynes flutes. I'm here at the National Food Convention in Orlando, Florida, and I have borrowed three different Haynes flutes, and I'm going to compare them. I'm going to play them all, play the same little excerpt on each one, and then I'll tell you what I think about each one or how it feels when I play them. Uh, I'm partial to Haynes. I play a professional model Haynes, not the one that I have here today. Uh, I really feel like they have a proven track record in their flutes. They are a 130-year-old company, and they've kept their flutes Really, the making is the same through the years. They've just modified it to today's changing flutist. So the fl first flute that I'm going to look at and play is the intermediate flute. It's called the Amadeus. This particular flute is a silver plated body and keys, and it has a solid silver head joint. Uh, price range is about $1,600 for this flute. So let me play that Mozart that I played at the beginning. Or how about a little bit of um, Syrinx. That's in the low register. It's a really nice instrument. I, I feel like you can get a very nice sound. Um, I like the way it feels in my fingers. Probably uh, what in, in just playing the custom flute, the professional model, the sound is just a little bit more uh, spread, whereas the uh, upper level flutes, it probably has more focus to it. Um, but I think it's a really nice big sound. It sounds very nice. Um, I have a couple of my own students that play this model instrument, uh, and we're very happy with the the product and what it sounds like, the type of sound that they're able to get with this. So now let's move up to what Haynes calls their semi-professional. This is a Q series, and there are a number of different Q series flutes, and their price range goes from somewhere in the 3000s to almost $10,000. So you can upgrade the semi-professional flute um, and add and change things uh, and make it better and better. Uh, just shy of a custom professional model flute. This particular one is a sterling silver body, uh, silver plated mechanism. The left hand is a pinless mechanism here and the lip plate is nine carat and this is a solid silver head joint. the first thing I notice when I play that is it's smoother. It feels smoother and that's partially due to the uh, lip plate and of course it comes with a silver lip plate as well. You can change it up as you see fit. I really feel that the low register sound really warms up and starts coming together there um, and is not quite as, as spread as on the Amadeus. It's a beautiful instrument. 
instrument, and I think that the sound is quite phenomenal for a semi-professional flute uh, without going up to that professional line. Now I will try the custom handmade professional flute. This one is uh, solid silver and it is all handmade. It is a gorgeous instrument. the difference in the way the mechanism works on this and the way the sound comes back to me. I feel like uh, it is really warm and rich on this instrument. But I think it compares very well to the Q series instrument as well. Um, beautiful response in that low register. It just responds very well in all the registers and I feel like all of them have that nice warm richness to them. But uh, I think that they're all favorably compared. And that professional flute is probably in that 13,000 range. And the more you add to it a uh, gold riser, a gold lip plate, or any of the um, C sharp trill or the gizmo, it's going to add money to that instrument and weight. So if weight is an issue, you don't want to add extra keys to that. Um, the gold lip plate won't really add anything noticeably to, to your uh, instrument weight. So this is back at the uh, Amadeus flute, and I'm just going to play that upper register like I did the professional. like that upper register responded quite well too. It's just I'm not sure that the sound was as warm as it is on the upper level instrument. And tonguing in the low. Low register is really quite nice on this Amadeus instrument. So how about if I play uh, each one, and I won't tell you which one it is, and you decide which instrument I'm playing. one do you think that one was? Option number two, and here is option number at the end of this video and you will see which flute was which. So listen to them and see if you can decide 
These are three choices that you have as flutes from an intermediate. This is not a beginner flute. You're probably not giving this to your first year student. This is an intermediate flute, so it's your next level up. Uh, to a flute that falls in between the intermediate and the custom handmade professional, the Q series. So uh, you can find a price range that fits for you and then pick the flute that best suits your needs there. So take a listen, see what you like, and if you're in the market for a flute, check out these three. They're great instruments. If you like this video, hit the like button, comment below, subscribe, and share it with your friends.